This video is not intended for viewers under the age of 13. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we're going to take a look at the G.I. Joe Classified Series Gung Ho. He's number 7 in our line. And I do apologize, but I am going to do him out of order. Let's see what he has in store for us. Stay tuned. So starting off with accessories, get a nice big olive drab green backpack, no painted, no paint at all. Cast in this olive drab green, nicely detailed though with all the straps and the actual fabric design too, so that's nicely done. All of these clips on the side are designed to hold his weapons, which is pretty neat. So it's well done. Well, that will secure into his back nicely, uh, better than some of the other classified series backpacks that I've seen. Really well done. You also get the typical gung ho hat, again done in the same color as the backpack. No painted detail or anything. Got a sprue mark there, sadly. But no obvious way for it to stay on, but it will surprise you. It actually stays on nice and secure. I don't know if it's suction or what, but it can actually go on forwards or backwards. And either way, it'll actually hold rather well. So that's really nicely done accessory. And he comes with three different guns. So that's a bit gung-ho, but they're all done really nicely. You got the grenade launcher. Nicely detailed front to back. They're all formed in this silvery gray plastic. No paint at all. Got this machine gun. Again, nicely detailed. All of them have a futuristic look. And then you have what my what is my favorite is the pump shotgun. Bit of a futuristic look to it, but it still looks really, really nice. So overall, the details on these accessories are really, really good. No complaints at all. As you can see, he will either hold or store all those weapons on him. So, it's nice that they included the ability to do that. So, as far as accessories go, for Gung Ho, they are top notch, in my opinion. So, let's take a look at Gung Ho himself. He is a really nicely done figure. Let's take a look at the detail here. Nice painted eyes, eyebrows and beard. I love the texture for the hair that they're using for these. But nicely painted, although they get a bit messy here on the side. Paint continues down the vest. With the blue on the communicator, silver. Along the details of his vest, really, really nicely done. He's got some some of the green plastic grenades that are permanently mounted on his on his vest. Paint extends all the way to the back. Now this one is open, so 
you get a nice view of the tattoo on his chest. Really well done. Coming down the arm. Sadly, this accessory and this one are the same one from the Special Missions Cobra Island roadblock. Just done in a different color. This is silver and roadblocks was completely black. So that's a bit disappointing, but it is nice to see that they added silver paint to it. So it is nicely detailed and black paint for the straps. And then brown gloves for the pivot. In and out, which is nice. On this arm, you do get a elbow pad, which is which is different. And then pivot in and out on the same style. But continuing down the legs, the entire body is really a remold of Roadblock, with the only difference being the actual head itself. Um, creases and everything in the pants are exactly the same. It's just painted in this actual green on green camo, which looks really nice. Uh, black painted kneecap. Rubber, just rubber for the grenade holster on the side. Coming down to the boots, same boots, except painted silver on the front and then black on the back and then solid black boots so overall not lacking in paint at all looks really good as far as articulation head is on the same style so you've got a ball head you got a ball here at the base of the neck and a ball here going into the chest sorry the base of the head and ball going into the chest so you get up and down a little bit head can go back to there a little bit higher. Can look down to there. Can go to the side. And all the way around. Great articulation of the neck. Shoulders. You've got the butterfly inside the inside the shoulder to give a little bit more forward and back. You can go up to there all the way around, bicep swivel, double jointed elbow for the full run, ab crunch, down to there, which is nice, belt does, or sorry, the vest does hinder back a little bit, but you can go way back. now. I haven't tried it yet, but I'm fairly certain that if you wanted to, you could easily take the vest off. If you want to display them that way. Uh, ball joint going, taking the waist into the hips. So, got plenty of teapot. Okay, hips. Out to there up to there back to there now they do have the drop down action so you can get a little bit more out of it a little bit hindered with this guy though upper bicep rotation double jointed knee for quite a bit of range you do have the boot cut and then ankle up ankle down quite a bit and the rocker. So really, really well articulated. No complaints about the actual build of this guy. So let's get him decked out in his accessories. And here he is, fully decked out with his accessories on. I think he, they did a really good job with this character, to be honest. He was always one of my favorite in the cartoons, but just the detail, the nods to the original toy with the camouflage pants and the tattoo on his chest and the hat, really well done. So 
No complaints at all. Looks really, really good. So overall, I have to say that I really do like this character. Yeah, even more so than Roadblock, to be honest. He, uh, he, has, he shares the same mold, which is a bit disappointing. But again, they do pay homage to the original toy released back in the 80s with the color of the pants and the tattoo and the hat. Uh, posability is, is, again, amazing with all of the things that they've learned from their history with the Black Series and the Marvel Legends that they keep applying to this classified line. So overall details are great. I have seen a little bit too much of them reusing uh, accessories from one toy to the other, but at least they take the extra step and paint them a different color. So no real complaints there either, I suppose. I do recommend this guy. If you're able to find him, I picked mine up from Amazon.com. I pre-ordered him months ago, way back in, I believe, May. So, it's been a while. Uh, they did send them out a lot earlier than expected. So, here he is. I hope that you enjoy. Please like and subscribe. Leave a comment if you uh, feel, the nece feel it necessary, or if you have any cr critiques, I am always open to, uh, to suggestions as well. But, again, thank you for watching. I'll see you again next time.